We just got a brand new razor and RJ has browsed over some YouTube videos because as you guys know, the last time I tried to cut my own hair, it was disastrous. Thank God RJ saved it. But I just need to cut my hair. Seriously, I can't do this no more. And so RJ is going to cut my hair. And so, my boy squad, it's time to cut my hair. <gasps> and RJ's help. Wish us luck. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Okay, we're gonna do the hip OMG. Do you remember how we did it? Wait, do we need a comb? So this is where the part is going to be. Not that it matters. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> RJ the barber. Well, if it fails, then... I mean, it doesn't matter. It's All not right. like anyone's gonna see it. Except for you guys, I just need to put on a, on a hat. Okay, I haven't showered today, so my hair is nice and flat and oily. <laughs> OMG. Oh my gosh, there's so much hair on that side. Yeah. Oh, look at this huge chunk of hair. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Guys, check it out. I was saying, should I like whip my hair so it fluffs up? You know what I mean? Because it's so flat and oily right now. Touch. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, Ooh. looks better. <laughs> RJ, you're so good. RJ has many, many skills. And now he can add hair cutting to his Perform. list of skills. <laughs> yeah. RJ, you're a renaissance man. That's what they call them. Someone who is really skilled at like multiple things. It's good? Yeah. Yay! You want me to do your hair? No. Look at RJ's hair, guys. It's so long. I still want to enjoy my long hair. I know, I would love to have long hair too, but wow. So RJ has not cut it once since quarantine. Maybe, Maybe another day. month. Cypher's watching from the sideline. He's like, I want to be included. Cypher, one day a groomer will be cutting your hair. <laughs> oh, the other side. Go, cut it. Cut the hair. Yes. Mm-hmm. Saying goodbye to all growth. When I cut my hair, I like to do metaphor, like to the universe. Because Louise L. Hay, the author who actually released our calendar of positive affirmations, one thing I learned from one of her books is that the universe loves metaphor. So like, when you're spring cleaning your house, say, universe, this is me cleaning out old thoughts that no longer serve me. Like that. <laughs> And so I like to do that, like when I'm doing random, the most random things, like organizing things or fixing up a tank, like I'll be scrubbing the side of my tank from algae saying, I scrub the negative thoughts that are accumulating in my mind. <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? So while RJ is cutting my hair now, I am saying goodbye to old growths, old thoughts, negative thinking that no longer serve me and make me look ugly. All right, okay, much more presentable. A lot of you guys were saying, okay, Mikey, time for a haircut. <laughs> I put it off for so long. But we just received these clippers the other day from Ton, our friend Ton, uh, also who we work with for the production of our videos. He sells these like all-in-one razors, which have various attachments, like 15 different attachments for your eyebrows, if you want to shape your eyebrows, your nose. If you want to shape your beard, it's really, really cool. All right, number three done. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like an undercut. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the 90s. Should I leave it like this, guys? <laughs> Total undercut. Uh, in other words, not a fade. Oh, wait, where did this hair come from? <laughs> I have to like finalize where I'm putting my part, I think. Okay, this is number two. This is number two, yes. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure you're doing it evenly? It doesn't feel evenly. <laughs> the guy in Summers is watching from the sidelines. <laughs> He's like, what are you guys doing? You humans are strange. She's coming closer to get a better view. <laughs> okay, so RJ feels like undercut is okay. So in other words, no like smoothing all the way up, right? It'll just kind of be long and then suddenly get short. Okay. Oh my gosh, yay. It's like I'm in the 90s again. What a great time. Grade five. RJ, have you ever cut hair before? No. Never. Except for during quarantine that last time when you had to fix my hair. Awesome. Mikey is a talkative customer. He talks a lot. <laughs> wow, guys. This is the first time I've ever had this kind of hairstyle. This isn't even an undercut. It's like a... I don't know what they call this. Oh, and I like it. RJ, you're really good. Looks clean. I feel like I'm in the 90s again. <laughs> I'm a werewolf. <laughs> RJ, you like it too, right? Yeah. RJ loves it. So, what is this hairstyle called, mm -hmm. if you were to name it? 
the 90s Pinoy boy coif. Like coif. Coif, I think, is like a word that means haircut. Because, like, in French, coiffeur means barber. Okay, now he's doing a number one. Wow, that's looking clean. Thank you. <gasps> I don't feel like a caveman no more. Awesome. All right. Yes. Now I feel like a rock star. It's so interesting. Like, this pandemic has forced people to pick up some practical skills. Like, our friend Ro, Matsuyama, you know her, she cut, like, the hair of Mark and Jonathan. It's really interesting. People now are turning to YouTube tutorials for just basic practical skills. Oh, I like it. Uh, it's so clean looking. Awesome. So some of you guys might be asking, okay, well, why don't you just go to a barber? Uh, um, here in the Philippines, it's still kind of a lockdown. Um, there are barber shops that are open in our area, but see, the thing is, I'm still a bit paranoid, RJ and I, because we're in a hot spot in Metro Manila, and Manila in general is not flattening the curve. We're spiking still. We haven't even seen our second wave. We're still like on the verge of the first wave. So RJ and I are just gonna stay inside like for as long as it takes, even if it's until next year, like we're prepared for this. So picking up skills like this comes in handy. <laughs> and like investing in like equipment like this, right? Next thing we should invest in are weights. <laughs> right RJ, cause we're working out at home. OMG, now it looks like I have a wig. <laughs> Because it looks like I have a wig. It's fine. It's okay. I'm just happy to have it cleaned up. Oh. All right. I feel like a rock star. Now all I need is the tattoo on my neck. All right, guys. So now he's going to use zero for like the lower edges. Is it cool? Is it cool? Oh. I think that bad. Right. Oh, I love. I love it so rock starish. <laughs> and clean. Good. Thank goodness. Let's go, Sago. Oh, I like this. <laughs> zero. Yeah, I used to shave my head with zero. By the way, I used to be bald. <laughs> Not like male balding, but shave. I used to shave my own head for years. Years and years and years. But I used to just shave my own head over the sink just for practicality reasons. I enjoyed being sh shaved head. It saved on shampoo, that's for sure. Um, but then I think last year, I started to be feel like, okay, wait, I want to have hair again. I want to feel what it's like to have hair and style my hair and shampoo my hair. I I'm not sure what brought on the urge to grow my hair, but I did. Okay, look at <laughs> You ruined what was gonna be a cool haircut. Wait, wait. It looks bald. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now I gotta cover it with hair. Wait, wait, until here. So I can. Oh, there's no! Just this way. We can fix it. It was. Okay. Now I just look bald. <laughs> no, I think it's okay. We just need to mix it. Okay, maybe we should just leave it all. Look at that! Like, it's so much space! So what? I could write my life story on that space. Okay, let's just not touch it. Let's let it grow back. How about this? Just let it all grow back. Yeah. I think this side is okay. I'm gonna continue to vlog from this side. <laughs> and this side, I will stay away from. <laughs> wait, 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 babe. No, I look like a Romulan from Star Trek. Okay, I'm just gonna try to fix it. Now we know zero is really zero, like no hair. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut that little part off so it's less obvious. Better. Okay, that looks a bit better. It's just my hairline now is like further back. That's okay, I'm, it'll grow back. It's okay. Anyways, like I, I, I could just like go, you know, kind of like that, cover it, let it hang. Okay guys, we're done. I like it, okay? This side needs work. <laughs> RJ, can you show them your awesome work at the back? Oh my god, like a coconut shell. <laughs> coconut shell? Okay, it's not so bad. Not bad. Oh, well, here's kind of funny, but yeah. now we know not to use zero. Only use zero if you're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but at least I feel like decent. I can wake up out of bed and start vlogging. It looks funny. It's okay. KRJ discovered something, what? This one, but I'm fading. There's a new guard. It's called what? Fading? Fading guard. Fading guard. Okay, it's for fading. Oh, we should have used that in the beginning. There, man. No, not there. No, yeah. Let's <laughs> leave this helipad of hair I bet. like alone. Hello. My name, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Yay, and we're done. I like that I can play with my bangs again. Like, yeah. See? I could style it different ways. I mess up with the zero, but it's okay. It's still fine. I mean, it's not like we have a music video to film or something. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Show my Buhai squad. Yeah, it's round. 
I would hope the back of my head is round. <laughs> like watermelon. Watermelon? <laughs> All right, we need to vacuum. So guys, this is a very big step in Cypher's life, I suppose, with us. For the very first time, we're gonna let Cypher sleep with the gate of his crate open. Now, usually we shut it and we put the crate up here so that he can wake us up at like 3 a.m. or whatever time he wakes up in the night to let him to pee. But because Cypher's been so good at peeing, see, there it goes into the bathroom, and pooing in the right place, we feel like we're ready to give him that privilege of having his crate on the floor and with the door open so in the night at like 3 a.m 2 a.m he himself can wake up and go to the bathroom by himself we'll see if this works um we'll see if i don't know there's like pee or droppings he usually doesn't poo at three in the morning he will pee very early in the morning we'll see if there's pee around but we're crossing our fingers and hoping that if he does have to pee early in the morning he'll like secretly slip into the bathroom and not have to wake us up now you might be wondering what's all the pillows for we do that because air conditioning is kind of cold and we're just afraid that he might catch a draft or something um and it looks kind of cool right it's like a cave you know what i mean <laughs> trying to build on that like denning instinct of dogs <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Good morning. <laughs> so guys, Cypher slept with us, I think around maybe 5 a.m. And look what we had to do. We buckled. I'll tell you what happened. Good morning, guys. Yes, I don't need to fix my hair this morning. It just kind of like naturally where I want it, presentable. <laughs> Good morning, how are you guys? So last night we were supposed to go through with our plans to have Cypher sleep on the floor with his crate on the floor, crate open and see if he would go to the bathroom. Turns out he woke up and we were like, yay, he's gonna pee. He did pee, but then um, he came on our bed and we're like, okay, so I tried putting him back in his crate. He didn't want to go back to his crate. So I'm like, okay, why don't we just let Cypher like sleep with us like we usually do before bed and then when he's asleep we'll put him in his crate but the dog didn't want to sleep he didn't sleep he kept trying to go to the viewing deck like right by the window and then I realized oh he's so used to sleeping in his crate by the window so then we buckled because he wasn't gonna sleep in his crate on the floor so I put the crate back where we usually keep it up on the viewing deck put the pillows all around it and put cypher inside and he still wouldn't go to sleep and I look at him and he's sniffing the gate as if he's like okay this is not right this should be closed so I closed the gate locked it and then he went to bed <laughs> He is so used to sleeping in his crate with the door closed by the window. It's like he doesn't want it any other way now. But RJ and I have been talking about it and we changed our mind. We're okay with Cypher sleeping upstairs with us. So what we might do is we'll have Cypher in his crate, sleep in his crate with the gate closed in our room. And I mean, we are just gonna have to keep letting him go pee at 3 a.m. in the morning until he's able to actually hold his pee through the night, which he does every now and then. We know it's possible, but I mean, he's a puppy still, so um, we're willing to make that sacrifice. And we're thinking ahead too about the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. We are okay with him sleeping in our room and possibly other dogs sleeping in our room, just maybe not on our bed, in their own crates in the room. So we might do that. Plans are always changing, right? Welcome to parenthood. Okay guys, positive affirmation for Tuesday, August the 4th. I open my arms to receive the full measure of prosperity that the universe offers. Ooh, I remember doing this when I first learned about positive affirmations, and I think I actually learned it from Louise L. Hay, who wrote this calendar. Like literally outstretching your arms and like saying to the sky, I am ready to receive all the prosperity and blessings that the universe offers. I recommend you guys do that too. It looks silly if someone's watching you. <laughs> and hears you like talking to the sky, but it just is great. And if God is your definition of what the universe is here, see it's a capital U, say God. God, I'm ready to receive the full measure of prosperity that you have to offer. There you go guys, enjoy.
Now guys, um, there's something we need to address. An idea that RJ and I have come up with. It's kind of a major idea. And I think you guys would find it interesting. I would love to hear your opinions about it. Um, but it has to do with Cypher. So as you know, a couple days ago, um, Cypher's brother, Pepper, I don't want to say too loud because it might trigger our puppy, was here for the day. And then when he had to go, later in the evening, our puppy, Cypher, had this weird trembling episode where he like was clearly full-blown anxiety um and at first i was like oh my gosh did he eat something was he poisoned like did he fall after some snooping around and research online and asking raquel how pepper was apparently the brother also experienced this trembling episode upon returning home and so we realized that omg they're feeling anxiety because they're being separated again so then we started to question omg should we not be introducing the puppies together now because if this is always gonna happen i don't want to put the puppies through that trauma you know what i mean and more so that they were the only two in the litter. There was just two of them. So they were completely bonded. And one thing RJ and I are noticing, even two days after their separation, something's a little off with Cypher. He's not 100% himself, you know what I mean? He's kind of like a little less energy. We find him, especially in the night, he's looking around for who we believe to be Pepper. So it's clearly still affecting him, you know what I mean? That his brother is gone. Um, he might have somehow forgotten that over the past month that he's been with us. Um, but now it's like fresh in his memories. So Arch and I have been talking Mabuhai Squad. And we've come up with a very big idea. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Mabuhai Squad, so this is our ultimate idea. <laughs>